Hey guys, it's me McKay, back again with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys what I made next for my YouTube hero series that I've been wanting to make. I changed the name, it's no longer called Tuba World, it's called YouTube Heroes, I think. Yeah, I might be going with that, yeah. But anyway guys, I want to clear something up. In the last video, I actually changed a lot of things in the last video. Like I changed characters' personalities a bit, made characters different things. Yeah, and like I and like it says in the beginning of the. And guys, one more thing, this is not the full story. This is like a list of what the characters are gonna be in the story, and I don't want the story to actually be a book, like a physical book. I've actually think I've actually been really wanting it to be an actual animation. Like, I don't know, I feel like the story can tell better, really very much better, if it was in a book. Instead of being in a story form, it was actually in animation form. But, yeah, those odds are very off, but yeah. And another thing I want to mention, guys, is I want this story to really get out there. Which, I know my in the interest in that is a lot, since I'm kind of a low YouTuber. But... What I mean, guys, I want the story to really get out there. Like, I know the interest of the YouTubers I have in the story are very much low. Like, very, very low. But I honestly very much want to. And guys, one of these... And guys, one of these um, pictures I want to mention are actually a picture I didn't actually find on Google. I found one of the pictures... I was having trouble finding an image for one of the characters I was redoing, and I had to go with DeviantArt of all places. So one of the so one of the things has a DeviantArt name, has the name of a DeviantArt artist on the list, cause I didn't want to be, because I didn't want to copyright anything. So I, so I put the name of the guy, of the person who made the art in one of the images, cause I didn't want to make make it seem bad. So yeah. Because I was honestly, I really couldn't find the image of like one of the characters that I've been trying to look that looked good. So I just, so I just looked at DeviantArt and I found one I liked and I picked it. Anyway, another thing I want to look at, another thing I want to talk about is, I know the interest. Like I want to go back to the int me actually wanting this to be an actual thing, and I know I really do want. And we want you guys to see if you can get this word out, because I really want it to be a thing. And I know the interest in that are very much low. So I guess, excuse me. Like, guys, I know the interest is low a lot. Like, obviously, all these YouTubers have way more better things to do than do something like this. But I just honestly think it would be a very good, it would be really cool. Like, it would get creativity out. And as of right now, I haven't actually written the story itself. That You guys are about to see, I have the story planned out. I have the characters planned out pretty well, but the story itself is nowhere near begun. And that's actually something I kind of thought of. I've been wanting... I've thought of, why, why not should I write the story myself? Because I made the characters and plot, kind of. That's what made me think that maybe I should let the actual people who the, who are the characters in the story, like Haminations, Rebecca Tunes, and and um and uh yeah. I want I feel like the people who are actually in the story to actually be the ones to animate it. I know that to animate it and actually make the story itself, but I know that's kind of a lot to take on and boy it's expensive and that's another thing I kind of want to talk about I'm, this is a very big if but I might see if I can get like a GoFundMe or something to go towards this project I don't know that's a very big if that's a definitely an if but yeah and now guys without any more into Without any more of me talking, I'm gonna show you guys the actual thing. Enjoy, guys.
Annoying Orange Villain Psycho The Annoying Orange or Just Orange is a sentient orange. What kind of an unknown past? No one knows where he came from. But trust me he is stronger than he looks. For some reason he likes saying terrible puns. His powers are his last can cause migraines. And his most notable power I somehow he can make knives up here at a thin air. And fire them at people. Me can also make the knives ginormous his biggest knife was almost as big as a mountain as you can tell tube world doesn't have many mountains left. An annoying orange could possibly also be a crazy lunatic. But he has been defeated in a pretty gruesome way if you ask me. Remember Tabs they had a battle. She won my eating annoying orange alive. Grow some stuff. Main villain. Clown Pierce. Hey there I'm sorry but your narrator is somewhere else. I triple locked them in the closet with chains. In spikes surrounded by sharks. Want to know who I am? Well I'm not going to tell you until the story comes out. But what you need to know is. I'm going to be the main villain of this story. For now at least one of my capable love is not to be known at this moment. But for a hint of what I can do is. Very good trickery. I won't go too into detail. Just so you know. Not even the realm master could stand in my way. Once I get rid of PewDiePie things are going to change. In this world we'll have a new ruler. Just saw you white. Anyway I got a set for your narrator. Don't worry I'll racist memories so he doesn't remember this. But if anything everyone should fear me. Assume you'll see the person who can even control the restrictor beast. What happened? Rebecca which started off villain but turned good. Show support to the person on deviant art known as the girlfriend fairy. This is Rebecca she's a witch flash sorcerer slash fairy. Her personality is rather creepy where she lives is in a tree house in the horse. In her powers include hallucination magic spells hypnotizing singing and gray trickery brewing potions. What she's like in the story is that she's actually part of a team or group are called her mystical figures. And more about her personality is that when somebody is walking through the forest, they find themselves lost. When you smell pumpkin pie and hear kind singing, there could be a chance it could be her just waiting for her prey. Jack the sentient mystical eyeball. Sad brave hero. Jack is an eyeball in a jar who can talk through telepathy. Jack is also a part of the mystical figures. And he's actually kind of how do I put this? The lab rat of the group. The other members pick on him a lot. His powers aren't bad people just like picking on them cause he's an eyeball literally. Anyway his powers are apathy telekinesis and he that's it can't read minds for some reason. And the people on his team like to shake them around because he's in a jar and the nicknames to him are just hurtful. Didn't ask to be born like this. Wolf at your first villain now hero. This is Wolfie Chu that name it's hard to pronounce I'm going with Diamond. Diamond is also part of the mystical figures. This part we are Wolf Park Gargoyle Heart Fox tiny bit of cat and surprisingly her has no dog in the strand of her DNA. You can tell a lot of these people are very mystical. Inner powers are exactly all the things I just mentioned. She make her claws grow to be sharp enough to cut through skin and bone like it was paper. In another thing back to the forest. If you hear how might have a musical tone to it run as fast as you can be caused to her you're more delicious than a gingerbread man. James Legend Hero. This is James he is the second best hero in Tuber world. His personality is rather being a fun guy. He's one of those guys who tries to find the fun in any situation. And he's actually the first person who agrees to be FX the main character's friend. And he actually gifts FX a pen. Depends an ancient artifact when used you can draw anything you want make it a reality. What James power is stretchiness. He's as stretchy as rubber but he also has another power. One that even lets the main villains be clueless of what it is. When things get serious with James you can see a weird black aura coming around him. When he uses this power he somehow becomes immune to any kind of attack as of recently we still haven't seen this power in action yet. But don't worry well. Dollar sign. This is the power that James has power. It is called the monetize power. Very unknown what this power is. But what we've seen it do is, question mark, question mark, destroy, 
Crazy ride. Anyway, yeah, guys, that was the story. I didn't show you guys all of it, but I actually did add a few other things to this, to some of the profiles. Hold on. Like, you guys could tell that, by the way, that was the thing I was talking about. And, yeah, you guys could tell I've actually put, like, what they are or, like, what the characters are going to be in the story. Like, what they actually are. Well, I think if they're heroes, good or bad. And the restricted beasts are predators because they're going to be the monsters. Legendary hero, hero, beast, monster, or, yeah, hero, main character hero, name and stuff. But, yeah. And, guys, the reason why mine has a question mark is I don't have a profile. Like that. But, yeah. But, yeah, guys, that's what I want to show. Yeah, no, guys, that's what I'm wanting to look at you guys about. And guys, like I said, I really do think this could be a really good idea. Not just for me or for these guys who are in part of the story, but for those who are think that they can be creative too and make a story kind of like this. But I generally, I, like I generally think these videos, this story is going to be good. And I know I said I prefer it to be animated, but I might at some point since... Hold on, guys. I am actually graduating soon. So, I'll have plenty of time to work on the story since I am graduating soon. So, yeah. Hope you guys had a good... Hope you guys have a good day and stuff like that. Anyway, I gotta go do whatever I want to do. Peace out, YouTube Nation. Mm. I'm not changing that intro.